stay tuned for this savings challenge that can help you in a time of need. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving money for emergencies, let's make it yours too. Let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, I'm asking if you please consider subscribing to this channel. Click the thumbs up button. Drop me a comment and let me know what do you think of this video? Is it helpful to you? Is it a great idea? I am curious to know. And drop and share this video because there may be someone else that can use this content also. And click the notification bell that you may be notified every time I upload a new video. And I want to say thank you for stopping by and welcome to everyone. And like I said, I have a savings challenge that can help you in a time of need. And we want to take the time to save for emergencies for that time when it is needed. Because emergencies come, they can be avoided, and we want to be prepared when they come. We want to have some money to be able to tap into when they come. We want to be able to cover our emergencies. And you know, we uh, start saving for emergencies. We want to at least have at least a thousand dollars saved, but we don't want to stop there because that would only cover emergency up to a thousand dollars. Now, in case of a job loss, home repair, car repair, or medical bills, we may need more. So we want to also save three to six months of our expenses and that can really help us. Like I said, in case of a job loss. And we also want to stay out of credit card debt because say for instance, you think, well, okay, I could just pay the minimum balance, the minimum payment every month. But what if there's a job loss? There's no income and then you can't pay anything. So that's one reason to stay out of credit card debt because those bills don't stop coming. They still come even if you don't have a job. So that's another reason. And saving and staying out of credit card debt gives you peace of mind. You know, there's nothing worse than every time you get a pay, you got to keep paying this bill, paying this bill. What about... Eliminate that, and that way you'll have extra money to save, money to put away for a time of need. So I'm not saying that credit cards are bad because, you know, credit could be good for, unless it's good credit card, I mean, good credit debt. But like consumer shopping and all that, that's not good. Just to be buying things, just be God. You know, I saw this, this, pretty dress or these pretty shoes or this pretty purse or all I gotta have is, you know, if it's not a need, you know, try not to get it. You know, save for whatever you want, okay? And we're saving, and on this channel, we are savers. And that's what these videos are all about, saving for emergencies. So when they come, we'll be ready and we'll be prepared. And what we'll also do saving with small amounts of money. That way we have no excuse. Even if we have a low budget, low income, credit card debt, robbing Peter to pay Paul, living from paycheck to paycheck. If we take small amounts of money every time we get some money, like this, this is a $10 deal. See? That is a small amount of money, okay? And if we, say for instance, we put away $10 every week. For, in a month, that's $40. Okay, well, if there's five weeks in that month, that's $50. Okay, so we wanna take small amounts of money 
and put it away every time we get some money. Well, you may just get paid every two weeks. That's $20 every two weeks. Or, you know, and this may just be steep for some people. So if you can't do this, just do something. Don't do nothing. <laughs> do something. Okay. All right. So I've been doing this every week since the beginning of uh, 2024, doing a different savings challenge every day. And I know you may not be in a position to do one every day. But what you can do is go to my channel and find the one that is suitable for you. I have one worth for one dollar bills, five dollar bills, ten dollar bills, twenty dollar bills, rolls of quarters, and even change. That way we have no excuse. Okay? So you know what we're doing in this one, this is considered cash stuffing. And you know, we want to make sure we have our finances in order. You know, because like I said, in case of a job loss, we want to have peace of mind. Or if that emergency comes, we want to have peace of mind. And we also, if we don't have enough money, it seems like we need to increase our income. Go online and find ways to make extra money, like side hustles. Um, go on YouTube and type in the search. How to make money from home, side hustles, things like that. And those things can help keep our finances in order when we have extra money. Okay, this is savings challenge number three. And I do this one on Wednesdays. So all you need is a photo album, something like this, and a $10 bill, a small amount of money. So, let me show you. This is a photo album that I found at Dollar Tree, and this is not a sponsored video, and you don't have to use this, but I just saw this, and it was just $1.25, and you know, that's another thing. We need to watch our spending. We live on less than what we make, and watch our spending. And this photo album has 50 pages, and I've been stuffing them with $10 bills every week, and it has added up when I started it, it was empty. Okay, so let me show you how much I've saved so far, and I'm going to add this to it today. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Wow, I've saved $200. And I've been doing this every week consistently. And that's what we have to be patient, consistent, and disciplined. And it adds up. Okay, so today I'm going to add this. Mm. Okay, so let's add that. So that makes $210 that I'll save. And that's just this savings challenge. Like I said, I do one every day. And I'm doing this to show you all and motivate and encourage someone to start saving if they're not. Okay? All right. So when what I do, I go in my planner and I record this. And today is May 22nd. Photo album savings challenge <laughs> and look you can if you can't find one like this go on Amazon Timu Etsy Shopify or go on Walmart and Target they sell things like this and it doesn't have to be 50 pages it can have more than 50 pages just do something okay we added ten dollars, and the total is two hundred and ten dollars. Wow! So once this is all stuff, it will be five hundred dollars, and that can go towards your one thousand dollar emergency fund. Okay. All right. And another thing I've been saying in these videos is when we're saving money in our home, which 
I have a new name for it. It's called Right Now Money. In case I have an emergency right now and I can't get to the bank. Uh, I say don't put the money in the bank. You know, yes, put money in the bank. And uh, what you need to do is keep it in a secure location that is waterproof, fireproof, and theft proof. You can buy a safe. Uh, you can get some out of Nord. I know they have them on Depot, Office Depot. Um, you can go on Amazon and get a safe and make sure it is mounted to the floor and to the wall in the studs. <laughs> okay. All right. So, I hope this video is helpful. And like I said, I'm encouraging someone to start saving if they're not. Drop me a comment and let me know. Are you doing a savings challenge or is this video helpful? I would really like to know. Okay, so thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. You have a wonderful, safe day and happy savings. <laughs>